Hey guys, what's up? Um, so unladylike. Uh, welcome to another car vlog. I haven't done one of these in forever. I haven't filmed a video in forever. And that's sort of what this video is about, kind of. Uh, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna title this, but my necklace is on backwards. That's annoying. Uh, but I got a job during quarantine. And at the beginning of quarantine, quarantine I guess I don't know now that we've had phases it's not so much like quarantine anymore but still is if that makes sense but yeah at the beginning of quarantine I was mentioning how I was starting to like go crazy by staying in the house and like I think that I'm a pretty sociable person I really like to talk to people so I just so happened to be on a website for a physical therapist office it's a doctor and physical therapist uh but it's for orthopedics. Um, I was on their website and they were looking for people to screen their patients. And I didn't really know what it meant. I had a good idea of what it meant. Um, I knew that I was way overqualified, but I really wanted a job. And as most of you know, not many places are hiring. So I applied and I very easily got the job. I had like a two minute long interview and I was hired. Um, Needless to say, it is a very like sociable thing. Like you're talking to the patients, obviously you're asking them questions. And you know, a lot of the patients are the same ones that um, that come in. I, like, you know, they come in two or three times a week because it's physical therapy and whatnot. Um, so yeah, uh, that's been nice, uh, mainly just to get out of the house, you know, I think I am underpaid for, you know, having just graduated college, but that's beside the point. Um, but I just sort of wanted to talk about this. Part of what I'm doing is making sure that people are wearing a mask, and I just need to rant about this. Um, there's some people that think they are better than others. Mind you, I'm letting in like 95 year old, like old ladies who are so frail that they've like broken their arm, you know, reaching for something in the pantry, right? Um, but people who just think that they are better than others um, and don't have to wear a mask and don't have a medical condition to not wear a mask, they just simply think they're better than other people. Um, I had one lady come in and I said she wasn't wearing a mask and I asked her if she needed a mask and she said no she didn't need a mask but I could see in her purse because her purse was sort of open because she was holding only one um, handle and I saw that she had a mask inside and obviously I'm not gonna like push it too much but she continued her sentences whatever she continued what she was saying by saying I will wear my mask for other people but I'm not gonna wear it for you and I don't know what that meant but it, it didn't feel nice um, just because I'm the one screening everyone that's coming in right and I don't understand why you wouldn't wear a mask for me the person that is basically allowing you into the building. Without me, you're not getting in the building. It just felt really crappy. And it, I just didn't understand that perspective from people. I don't know. And even if I am young, which might have been what she's saying, I'm around so many old people screening them. So why are you gonna, you know, you know what I mean? Um, I'm around more people and you're not wearing a mask, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and mind you, she was also early for her appointment and she had to wait down on the first floor where I am because she was so early and they're not allowing that many people upstairs. And she decides to cough. She freaking coughs and she's six feet away or I don't even know how far she is away from me and this other lady that is screening these patients. And um, I just was like, oh my God, the like audacity of you to not wear a mask and to freaking cough. Um, I just, I couldn't even believe it. And then yesterday um, there was another patient and there was a, a mother and her little child, her child was the one that was injured and they left 
and I noticed that someone's car had broken down and it was really hot outside and all of a sudden I see five people walking in without a mask on. It's the wife, I'm assuming, and the husband. I don't know if they're actually married. And then three little kids and none of them have a mask on. Mind you, where the patients walk in is really small. It's probably like 10 by four feet. Um, and then there's two desks where me and someone else will stand. And um, they're all just crowded right there. And I'm like, do you have a mask? Mind you, on the front of the door, it says, you know, you can't go in the building unless you have a mask. And I know that the mom has a mask because she came in the building with her son. And for little kids, they are more lenient. Um, if they're under 11, I believe they don't need a mask per se, unless the child absolutely wants to wear one. And um, the husband was like, I'm not wearing a mask. And I'm like, dude, and he's young. He's in his cowboy boots. I get it, it's hot as shit outside. Oops, I just got <laughs> but yeah, he was just so rude to me. Like, I'm not wearing a mask in here. It's hot as hell outside. And I'm like, first off, dude, why are you yelling at me? You're coming in an orthopedics office and you see these old people in here. And I'm imagining that this guy isn't wearing a mask anywhere else, right? Whenever he goes to like the grocery store or anything, he's probably not wearing a mask. And you're gonna be around all these old people like that? I don't think so. So his wife was like, just take a mask. So I gave him the mask and then he starts screaming at me for water and he's like, is there a water fountain in here? And I'm like, no, it's not open because of COVID, hello. And I didn't say that, but just like, come on. And um, he's like, well, my daughter's dying and I get it, but also don't yell at me. So I ended up going upstairs in the employee's office and like getting him water, washing out the thing. But anyways, needless to say, the job, I'm just like, is it worth <laughs> not only being exposed to these people that don't care about my general health, even though I'm trying to help other people and to screen these people so that they can go get healthier and better? Is it worth that? And also, I feel like I'm also being treated just not nicely at all by people. And I have, I think it's actually sort of been a good thing because I can. I don't know, I'm just learning how to like work with those people. Um, yeah, and also like the people I'm working with, a lot of them are super nice and it's nice just to like meet new people and talk to them. And a lot of these older people have no one to talk to, so just talking to them has been super nice. But yeah, so that was my sort of update and rant at the same time, I don't know. I got a job and obviously like every other job it's not the easiest some days oh my gosh some days I just want to like scream at the top of my lungs and then some days you know everything goes smoothly but uh overall I say it's been good um it's not really about the money like I said but just getting in a medical environment before school starts and um yeah another thing about school is I could care less what people have to say about my life you know I wouldn't choose a decision unless I was educated enough on it I know many people that have graduated from the program that I'm at and who are working at their sites of uh, externships as well as where they did their clinical rotation so I'm not worried um, also as many of you know I I'm a very good student I take school so seriously and yeah I'm just not worried and if people want to worry about me honestly thank you um, I really appreciate that you care so much about me and yeah I don't know what else to say about that also I don't want to jinx this I really don't want to jinx this hmm I'm debating if I should say it or not I might not say it I don't think I'm going to say it. I don't think I'm going to say it, but uh, let's just say the end of August, I will have another exciting announcement to share with you guys. But um, yeah, oh my gosh, it's freezing in my car. I had it on 65. What the heck? Holy crap. Oh my gosh, I have goosebumps. But uh, yeah, so for those of you that don't know, when you go into a doctorate program, you usually get a white coat ceremony at the beginning. So, 
our white coat ceremony is online, which is strange, but also I understand. And also, as far as classes go, um, obviously clinicals will remain the same. And then they're trying to limit it to only one uh, class, so like P1, P2, P3, P4 on campus at a time. So they're like sequestering all the classes together. Um, and we're allowed to do virtual classes or we can come into campus and we can change that um, day to day, week to week, month to month, you know, that sort of thing. So I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, I think that's all for today. I'm clearly getting blinded and I'm about to pull into my work. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day wherever you are. I hope you're staying safe. Uh, just be kind to people honestly it's not worth uh, being mean to people at all life is short and you never know you know what's going on behind the scenes of someone else so yeah 